Hey guys, I'm Robert. Today I want to share with you a shortcut that allows me to integrate Readwise, which is my favorite tool for managing highlights from stuff that I read, watch, or listen with Bear, the beautiful note-taking app that I use as my second brain. I just love the simplicity of this app, Bear, and the space that it provides me for reflection and idea development, among many other things. Now, I am a big fan of Readwise. It's an amazing app for anyone interested in knowledge management or simply just making the most of the reading, learning, or media consumption. In a previous video, I explained how I use Readwise, but one thing that I mentioned was that while Readwise natively integrates with many apps, Bear, unfortunately, isn't one of them. So this is the solution that I came up with. Right now, I'm inside Readwise with one document open in front of me. Before running my shortcut, I like to make sure that all of my highlights have already been processed. And again, you can see details about this in my other video on my Readwise workflow. You do not have to follow my method of how I use Readwise for this shortcut to work for you. Um, this shortcut is just meant to give you an option to export from Readwise to Bear and have like a one-way sync between these two applications. But at the very least, I want to tell you that if you want your uh, imported notes to look nice, you want to avoid having any extra line breaks like this within the highlights. It will just look much better once this is inside Bear. Um, there is one exception, and that is when I have quotes. As you can see here, the name of the author is in a new line, and it starts with an M dash, and it's in italics. That's just one little uh, thing that I included in my shortcut, and you will see why in just one second. Now, um, the shortcut takes Safari websites, so you can be on your phone and share from there to the shortcut, or you can be on Safari on desktop and also share from there to the shortcut. But since I do not use Safari, what the shortcut will also do is grab the URL from your clipboard. If you are just getting started with shortcuts, the easiest way to do this would just to copy the URL and then trigger the shortcut. If you are more familiar with automation like I do, then you can create a macro or a keyboard combo. In my case, I have one that will first uh, press a keyboard shortcut to grab the URL inside Arc, and then it will trigger the shortcut. So it's like two keyboard shortcuts inside one. You can do something like this with Keyboard Maestro, Better Touch Tool, Alfred, or many others. So let me trigger the shortcut right now for you to see. It copies the URL and then it presents me with this option of the note title, which is actually the same as the document. I will click done. And then it presents me with a list of tags that I have specified during the setup of the shortcut. And this is just for organization. Right now, I just want this note to go inside my inbox. I will click done. Include the header template. I want to show you how this looks like. So I will select yes. This is the note that was imported from Readwise Inside Bear. This is the header template that I chose to insert. If not, it would look like this. But for this case, I want to show you how this works. Um, here's the entire highlights section. Each highlight has a link to the original source or a link to the highlight inside Readwise. Um, sometimes there will not be a link to the original source. That will depend, of course, on the document itself. Remember the exception that I was telling you with quotes? I decided to include this special markdown format for whenever the shortcut recognizes that there's the new line starting with the M dash and italics. So it just looks nicer this way. Here in the bottom, we have a link to open the entire thing in Readwise and one link to update the highlights. Right now it tells me that there's no highlights that have been updated in Readwise. And I will talk about that in just one second. Here in the bottom, I have a line for tags. Um, this is for adding tags for discoverability, for allowing me to find this note in the future um, with some words or names that I want to associate with it. So I may just put a topic. You have to keep in mind that this is not for organization. Bear organizes the notes with uh, these other kind of tags that include a hash symbol at the beginning. Now here at the top, and this is something that I do not do all the time, but I may add some thoughts, some personal, some personal thoughts. 
The very important thing to know about this shortcut is that it's just a one-way sync between Readwise and Bear. So if you plan to update this note, like right now I tell you there's no updates, um, then I suggest that you do not modify the highlights in this entire section. I suggest that you limit yourself to do any edits here in the tax line or here in the header. Why? Because this is some text that I added here. And now let me go inside Readwise and make another change here. Let's edit this. So I did a change in Readwise. Now I click Update and it will tell me that there's one highlight that has been updated. Now, if I update this, as you will see, this text that I added here will disappear. And the text that I added in Readwise, updated. So every time that there is one update, all of this section will be updated with the new version from Readwise. So there's a little bit of a risk there to lose information. If you plan to update this and you edit the highlights here. So all of my editing is done on the Readwise platform. That's why I like to um, keep this here. If you do not do that, I suggest you just totally remove it because <laughs> I don't want to be held responsible for you losing some uh, data. As you can see, the top is uh, protected and also the bottom. These areas are not replaced whenever I select update. I may, of course, take some of these and copy paste them in a different note if I am ever working in a different piece. I do this process of manually downloading or exporting my Readwise highlights per document instead of automating the entire process because I like to be very selective about what goes into my bare notes. Most of my highlight processing, as I told you, is done on the Readwise platform itself, and I do not want to dump everything inside my note-taking app. Just the stuff that I will really need as an ongoing resource or for a project that I am currently working on or plan to work on. There are, of course, other kinds of notes that are not related to content that I consume or read, stuff that I create within there and that will stay organized in there. But that's beyond the scope of this video. Now, I want to show you a few things in the setup of the shortcut. The link in the description of this video will take you to an article on my newsletter where you can download this. I try to link everything back to my newsletter because if there's any updates in the future or if there's any bugs that I fix, that's the one place that I will go to share the new version. Once you click the link to download the shortcut, you will go through the setup, which is very straightforward. It will ask you for your Readwise token, your Bear token. It will ask you for some tags to include in that list of um, options for organization of the node. But if you are brave enough to dive a little bit deeper inside the actual setup of the shortcut, you have some other customization options. For example, you could change the text of your um, the header delimiter. You can change the language. If you use a different language, you can change the questions or you can add your own. If you are not interested in having the header template at all here, you can just write no, and it will not even ask for it. Or if you always want it, you can also write yes, and it will automatically insert it. Here you can change the tags that will be grabbed by the shortcut and presented to you. As you see, I did not have to insert all of my all of my tags that I have in there, all of these are grabbed automatically by the shortcut by me only inserting the top level tag. So this is just something that you may want to know to make this work for you. Here is the area for discoverability tags. If you want to insert one by default, for example, you may want to write rewise docs. And this will be inserted inside every node that you import from Readwise. And in that way, in Bear, you can easily find them all by doing one search for this term. Um, just, just for example, you don't have to do that. I personally do not. And here is one backup option. I told you that every time that you click update, if there's new updates on the Readwise platform, that section of the highlights will be replaced. So 
what this backup option does is it creates a copy of your current note before doing that replacement. And after updating your note, it will trash that copy. So in case that you forgot how the shortcut works or that you lost something that you wrote somewhere in there, you can always go to the trash and retrieve your previous edits. I just leave it there up to you. You can use it if you want. If you are concerned about having too many notes in the trash, then you can just put no. And that's it. After you have gone through the setup and customized this shortcut to your liking, you can bring your Readwise highlights into Bear with just a few taps or clicks. It can really save you lots of time. I hope that you can find a way to somehow integrate this into your own workflow. I also have another shortcut for the opposite, from Bear to Readwise, but that one is very simple. I will link that one in the description of this video too. I do prefer to keep it simple because I prefer to format, annotate, or progressively summarize my highlights on Readwise. If you would like to know more about how I use Readwise, Bear, or Reader, just let me know in the comments. A lot of this content that I'm sharing has come as a result of looking for solutions or answers that I could not find anywhere else. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them. Knowledge management, note-taking, and productivity seem to be big areas of interest that I share with many of you. So maybe we can find solutions together or learn from one another. Remember that you can sign up for my newsletter for more frequent updates on what I'm up to. If you run into any bugs with this shortcut, please let me know. Or if you have any ideas which would make it better, I'm also happy to consider integrating them if I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.